Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing your daily reading. Let's see what is in store for the Pisces Collective, what messages are wishing to come through through today's reading. This goes for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please take whatever resonates with you. If something does not resonate with you, it's just not for you. It could be for another Pisces watching this video, okay? Guys, thank you so much for being a part of the Pisces Club. If you aren't yet a part of the Pisces Club, all you need to do is click on that subscribe button and you're going to receive so many readings, especially on the weekends, all Pisces focused. All right, let's do a Celtic Cross. And I'm going to be taking cards upright. First card would be Serenity. Crossed by the Seven of Pentacles, Pisces. In the recent past, the Queen of Cups. King of Wands in your mind space. Three of Cups in the near future. Four of Cups in what the universe wants you to know. Six of Cups in your energy. Eight of Cups in your environment. Four of Wands in your hopes and fears. And last but not least, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. Many Pisces readings have been wrapped up with the Wheel of Fortune. It's very interesting. We also have the Two of Wands. So the Two of Wands usually appears when you want a confirmation that you are in the right path. And Pisces, you are, okay? You are exactly where you need to be, and that's why this Two of Wands is popping here at the bottom of the deck. Now, let's begin with the Serenity card. Right now... What I'm getting from this card is that you are in a space of tranquility, privacy. <laughs> that is so funny. Like, in this deck it's called Serenity, right? And I didn't remember or I didn't think I knew which card was this one. And as soon as I touched it, it was like, oh yeah, it's a hermit, of course. <laughs> like, the energy just like comes through so specifically. Um... But yeah, you are in a space in which maybe you're spending a lot of time on your own or a little bit away from the crowds. I mean, because of the virus, obviously, that would be the smart thing to do. But what I'm seeing here is basically you being in this hermit mode. So spending a lot of time with yourself, with your inner voice. Um, some of you guys are meditating. Some of you guys are um, actually spiritually connecting to your wisdom. But others of you are just doing it by existing, by being yourselves, by going through your daily activities. You just, for some strange reason, feel very connected. Your intuition is high right now, Pisces. The challenge here could be that you are definitely creating what you want, what you desire to live. But it may be um, something that comes together step by step. And some of you guys are still sort of like waiting for those results. Maybe you feel like you've been waiting for too long. Maybe you feel like you need them to come through faster. But honestly, Pisces, it's like right now you can see in your life how things are unfolding and how there's a lot of seeds that are growing. Maybe they're not in full bloom yet. But you can see the growth and you can see the progress, okay? So pay attention to that. And yes, some things take time, you know. In the recent past, you've got the Queen of Cups. This could be you, Pisces. This is a card associated with Pisces, uh, Cancer, and Scorpio energy, water signs. We see someone here who is very intuitive, very mystical, mysterious, kind, emotional spiritual and i see here a leopard in this card staring very like very focused 
And what that, what that is letting me know is that in the recent past, you have been very focused on your goals. You have been very focused on dealing with your emotions in a very healthy way. So expressing what you need to express, say, thing, you know, the whole thing. And you may have been dealing with another person who shares those traits. You may have been dealing recently with another fire sign. I'm sorry, water sign. And fire sign, because we have fire sign here. Um, you could have been dealing with a water sign recently. From who you decided to take a little bit of space, maybe. Maybe you received an offer that perhaps wasn't completely laid out properly, like you didn't have all the proper information, maybe you offered something Pisces, or you received an offer, and the lack of clarity around it, around it sort of like felt watered down, and therefore a choice has not been made, maybe. But I see you sort of like sitting here in your abundance, in your happiness, and saying like, well, you know, I am going to accept all that is good and well for me, and I'm going to let whatever else appears fade. I kind of like the attitude, I have to say. Then in your mind space, you've got the King of Wands, so you may be thinking in a very fiery way. You may be feeling very productive, very efficient, energized. Maybe you feel also very adventurous. Maybe you feel like you want to do everything, uh, experience everything. You could be feeling a little bit impulsive, spontaneous, you know, all these fire traits in your thought space, in your mind space. If that's not the case, Pisces, you could be thinking about a person who is this way. You may be thinking about them quite a bit, too. Someone who can be maybe very attractive, maybe very passionate, very adventurous, very driven. Could be an Aries, could be a Leo, could be a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be, but it could be for some. Remember, take it as it resonates. In the near future, you've got the Three of Cups. I see people going out for drinks. <laughs> Honestly, I see people going out for drinks, socializing, catching up. Um, I see friends that you haven't seen in a really long time. I see a lot of like good company, even like a lot of ancestral connections, past life connections that are resurfacing in your life or have recently resurfaced in your life. You're going to be enjoying them quite a bit. Some of you guys are going to be having a lot of reasons to celebrate here. Some of you could potentially have recently rejected an offer from a water sign or a fire sign and decided to be on your own, focusing on your professional stuff, because maybe um, you think or you know that this person is involved with someone else. There could be the potential for a third party situation here with a three of cups. So maybe, um, you decided to walk away, or maybe if you are involved with someone else, the other person decided to walk away. But that goes for a very tiny percentage of you, okay? Your energy right now is the Six of Cups. This is a very, very sweet, beautiful energy. Nostalgia for the past, remembering the good times, valuing all the beautiful memories that you've gotten to live, and connecting to soulmates. Soulmate energy, past life, soul connections. You may be dealing with a person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who is very important to you spiritually. You feel like home, at home with this person. In your environment, there is someone who is walking away from something. There is someone that is leaving stuff behind. Or maybe, if that's not the case... Pisces, um, the energies around you, the astrological energies around you, are inviting you to let go of everything that does not longer serve you. Everything that is weighing down, you, weighing down on you, God has 
God has to go. <laughs> has to go. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be sort of like released in your environment in a way. As far as your hopes and fears, you have hopes for higher level of stability. Maybe in the romantic sense, maybe in, you know, whatever area of your life in which you don't feel like you have this, you want this, which is stability. Stability, success, a happy, healthy home situation. But at the same time, maybe you're afraid of um, certain connections or certain decisions that you may make just because you want this stability. And, you know, maybe there are other aspects that you need to consider. Okay. And with the Wheel of Fortune here, Pisces, as we mentioned at the beginning of the reading with the Two of Wands, you're exactly where you need to be. You're exactly where you need to be. You are right now being guided in your destined path in all of the areas of your life. Okay, so whatever connection is going on here, whatever past life situation is going on here, whatever it is that you're dealing with at this time personally, you are exactly where you need to be. And this is a card for me of good luck, blessings, and the need to appreciate where we are in the moment, where we are in our lives right now. So I think this is a very positive reading, Pisces. I gotta say I love it. I am sending you so much love as always, and I'll be seeing you tomorrow in tomorrow's daily reading. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being a part of the Pisces Club. Thank you for watching the marathons. And remember that we have products, we have stickers and mugs and t-shirts and all sorts of things that you can purchase um, to support the channel. All right? I love you guys. Bye.